We are in Los Angeles and it is flooding. Really? Okay, whatever. Susan and I am here on a very rainy and overcast day. I was hoping to actually record some videos at home but it is way too dark in that room even with the light that I have it's just way too dark. So <laughs> I'm facing what little light there is in a random parking lot because you know my hair is wet went out straight perfect. Um. So basically, I am here today to do my Box of Dread unboxing. I have already seen what's in it. I filmed it, it went all awry, and I had to delete it. So now I'm going to redo my Box of Dread and try to act just as surprised for you um, because this was a pretty cool box for me. And also, shout out to Worship13 Etsy store I will link them in the description box below. I love my Michael Myers ring. Can you see that? It's very, very cool. And I've been working a lot. I'm completely exhausted. I work nights. Um. So let's get right into the box of dread. And the first thing in this box, which I thought was very cool, is Snake Plissken from Escape from New York. And the theme of this box is John Carpenter. Well, one of the main themes. So I was extremely excited about that because John Carpenter is my favorite. Of course, I mean, I also love Hitchcock and you know uh, Wes Craven and, and everything, but John Carpenter is really, really probably my favorite. So I thought this is pretty cool. And Kurt Russell, so that's nice. Please ignore my nails, I chipped them all off. And the next thing is the Vampirella calendar. And let me see if I can show you. Here, I'll just show you the back because it has all the pictures. For anyone who is wondering. And while this calendar is very cool and Vampirella is very cool, okay, with all due respect, I'm an Elvira girl, so if anybody wants to, you know, trade or, or whatnot, uh, let me know um, because I only have so much space and I already have my calendar space occupied with an Elvira calendar. So there you have it. But that's very cool that they do include a calendar in the January box. Come on, that's cool. And then we have uh, John Carpenter's Asylum. Now, I actually did meet him when he released these originally, like this this series. I mean, um, maybe two years ago, two or three. I don't know. And he was very, very cool. He was. It was so great to meet him. But this is one of those comics. And this one says issue zero zero, so I'm a little confused. I, I think it it looks like the first one, but I, I wouldn't know until I get back to the house to see. It seems thinner, but some very cool graphics of this. And for I'm some of them that are older, a lot older, that are kind of lost inside your space forever. Or and some of them that are older, a lot older, that are kind of lost inside your space forever. And since I've been a little bit MIA for a while, I just want to catch people up, you know, with what's going on and if they were, you know, expecting things or whatnot. And then we also got... I have not had any coffee yet. This is the Harvester number one. And that's from Legendary Comics. So, comic book people, you are going to be loving this. Now, um, I'm not familiar with this. So, again, I might trade this. But it's very cool. I mean, two comics and the uh, reaction figure. I mean, 
that's great. And then this, of course. Now, I wish I had the original recording of this because I was so excited. <laughs> it's a Lee Howard print of Michael Myers. I love it. I love it. It will be going on the wall. And there is a lot, obviously a lot of Elvira and a lot of Michael Myers and Halloween um, in my setup. I kind of had things separated before and now I'm trying to put the things together so that when I'm filming, people can kind of see, you know, themes instead of just stuff thrown everywhere or hanging or sitting everywhere. So uh, this will definitely look great. I hope you guys can see this. Like I said, I'm so sorry for doing this in my car but it's just so dark today, even though there is light and I'm having to wear sunglasses right here, it's literally just a little bit peeking through and the room that I film in is just dark. If I turn on one light, it's still not enough. You'll just see shadows. So that is very cool. I mean, for me personally, this makes the entire box worth it. So um, Box of Dread, good job, John Carpenter. I love it. So I really, really am very excited um, also, just to throw in a couple of things, I did obviously pick up and watch Deathgasm. Definitely recommend this one. And I picked up It Follows. I have not yet gotten to watch this yet, but everyone said it was, you know, a really great movie. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. So um, just wanted to throw that in there. And also, very quickly, a friend of mine actually worked on the movie The Howling and went to an anniversary screening here in Los Angeles and brought this back for me. And I just really love it. So I just thought I would show you guys that. Because that's so cool. And she's also an extremely awesome friend to me. So I appreciate that. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really... Seriously? I'm trying to get, I'm my, trying stuff to get my stuff together, together. Okay, so hopefully you will see this arc of, you know, things getting better and more professional and more fun and more exciting. Um, here within the next month or so, honestly. Maybe I'll even, you know, my hair won't look ratty. I don't know. We'll see. But this box, very cool. Two comics, calendar, Lee Howard print, and a Funko reaction figure. I'm happy. John Carpenter, come on. So um, I definitely do recommend Box of Dread. They have been sending some cool boxes. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Um, the next video will actually be an older one. Once again, it's a great unboxing from Zachary Haith, uh, Gamer Cannibal Corpse. So that is happening. I, like I said, I'm just, I'm technologically challenged, you guys. I just, I don't know what's happening. But it will be there. And I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing. I just wanted to at least get this online for you guys in case you're the one person that hasn't already seen the contents of this month's Box of Dread. So um, thank you Box of Dread and thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video and stay spooktacular. I'm driving and driving and driving so this is going to take a while. Get ready. Buckle your seatbelts. <laughs>